Outline Effect Part 2. If you haven't watched my Part 1, go watch it because I like that more than this one. But this one has Saber for After Effects and it's a free plugin. And it has the Outline Effect in Premiere Pro, which I didn't show before. So yeah, keep on watching. Okay, so this is the Saber tutorial on how to do the outline effect. I got a lot of comments on my last video saying I don't know how to do the effect because I didn't use Saber. Saber's way easier. Saber's faster. Okay, but here's my thought process. I knew how to do Saber, but I try to make it easier for you guys. Okay, so here's my thought process. I'm just going to give you a quick preview on how to do the Ecto effect, the Ecto outline, and then I'll, do, I'll show Saber. All right, transition, right? Copy the second clip right click add freeze frame that's step two step three make a mask right make the mask you want step four look up ecto drag it on outline effect now you can even move this right you can move it and you can do all the animations you need for the transition you need right now for the saber tutorial here's what you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to go to your second clip Control D to copy it. Right click. Time. Freeze frame. Step two. Step three. Make your mask that you want. Take your time. Don't make it look ugly like I am. Okay, now you have your mask. So if we drag this, the mask will pop up and we'll have that. All right. Now you, what you want to do is copy your mask layer. So press Control D again. So step four. All right. Step five is look up Saber. Drag that onto the uh, topmost layer. You'll have this. Step five, change the redder settings from composite settings black to transparent. Step, was it six, seven? Cust go to customize core, saber, layer masks. Now you have a mask, but now you need to pre-compose these two layers so you can move them at the same time. So hold shift, right click on both of them, make sure they're both highlighted and pre-compose click OK now go back now what is that like nine steps just for you to have an outline now you can change the outline which I do like the most about Saber they have more outlines you can choose from but like I said I was trying to make it easier for you guys so stop saying I didn't know how to do it and you can I'm just gonna show you some techniques a lot of people do so I'm gonna put this outside right here I just press P to bring up the uh, position and I just move it to the side so I'm a uh, keyframe that I'm gonna go to the end and I think it was 960 right so we'll have this transition right and that's a little bit too fast so I'm gonna move that to here so if we you guys can really see it but boom transition it looks like a bad mask, or, but yeah, like I said, take your time on your mask. If you want to change the Saber outline, just go to your pre-comp layer, double click on that, go to your Saber layer, and then you can just change this to Firestorm, or, you know, Hardcore, you know, you have all these, that's the only thing good about Saber is you have all these, and you can do them for a lot of different things. All right, Premiere Pro tutorial, which is going to be way easier than this. Outline effects in Premiere Pro is the same thing as my last tutorial, except it's in Premiere Pro. You don't have to go in After Effects and do it. Uh, I just found a little tip I just wanted to show you guys, and it's a part two, so yeah. So, well, you're going to need Red Giant Universe before, and then it's going to be Ecto, but I'm just going to show you how to do it. So, we're going to do a transition, just a single frame cutout transition, like everyone does. So, you want to go to the first frame of our second clip here. You're going to want to hold Alt on your keyboard, drag this up, it'll copy it. Right click on the top clip, go, um, go to add right here, add frame hold, do that. And then now it should be a still image. Go to the first frame, uh, open up effect controls on the first frame, opacity, pen tool, and make a mask like we always do. Now take your time on it, but you guys don't want to see me do this, so I'm not going to take my time on it. And... You really don't have to take your time on it since we're applying the outline effect. Um, the outline will kind of cover a lot of things. So I see a lot of people doing lazy masks, masks, but you know that's up to you on what you want to do. All right, so now if we have that, we'll have the video underneath and we'll have a still frame as you can see. 
Now we're going to make the transition. So it's a 24 frame sequence settings. So I'm going to go 10 frames to the left. You can hold, I don't know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Do that. And then I'm going to go to the cut again, split that. And then now you should have a pop up transition like that. Now we're going to type in Ecto into your effects folder, drag Ecto on. And then you'll see, you'll see, you'll see this, right? You, it won't be what we wanted. We wanted the outline. So we're going to take that off. You're going to right click on your freeze frame, nest that. So right click and click nest. And then you can drag Ecto on, and then you'll have the Ecto plugin. Uh, here's some regular things a lot of people do. So you can go back to the effect controls on this nested layer. You can change the position. So keyframe that. Uh, move him off screen in the first keyframe and then at the end you can I just click this little button right here and then he'll fly into position or a lot of people like to add like a crazy twitch you, you can use transform on that here let me delete this uh, they, act, they, they like to add a crazy twi twitch first and then he pops up a lot a lot of people like to use transform but I have my preset so if we look at it, it'll be a Twitch, something like that, and it comes up, but they don't even make it that small. They just do this. So if I do that, and then at the end, come on, sorry, I put 4K footage in, and then I make this down to zero. If we do that, it should... Here, let me do this so you guys can see. It should be like that, which you've seen a lot in your videos. Yeah, that's basically it. Like and subscribe. Follow my channel. I might have another channel already when this video comes out, so go follow that. I'm just posting music videos. My music videos and music I listen to. All right, peace out later.